Hi there, welcome to the following video where I answer question 8 of the January 2008 OCR Core 4 paper. It's my third video on solving differential equations. OK, let's take a look at the question. It tells you that water flows out of a tank through a hole in the bottom, in the bottom and at time t minutes the depth of the water in the tank is x metres. At any instant, the rate at which the water in the tank is decreasing is proportional to the square root of the depth of the tank. Write a differential equation which models this. OK, the key thing here is this line. It's uh, the rate at which the depth of the water in the tank is decreasing is proportional to the square root of the depth of the tank. Let's remind ourselves of our variables. Well, h is given to us as, sorry, it's not h, it's x. x is given to us as depth of water in tank, depth of water in tank. And t is given to us as time in minutes. It tells us that the rate at which the depth of the water in the tank is decreasing, so the rate of change, the rate of change of the depth of the water over time is proportional uh, to the square root of the depth of the water. So because it's decreasing, it's proportional to the negative of the square root of the depth of the water. When two things are proportional, they are equal with a constant of vari variation. So dh, uh, dx by dt is equal to k minus k at root x. OK, and there's our differential equation. OK, part two asks us to go on and solve this with particular boundary conditions, giving our answer to one decimal place. So, uh, what we can do is we can separate variables here. We can, uh, for part two, the first thing we would do is we would separate variables and integrate. And integrate. Okay, so let's have a go. Uh, divide both sides by the square root of x and multiply both sides by dt. I would get 1 over the square root of x uh, dx and the integral of that is equal to uh, m the integral of minus k dt. Okay, uh, just before I go ahead and integrate this, I'm just going to write this in index form. So that's the integral of x to the minus a half dx, and I'm going to factorize out the minus k is equal to minus k the integral of dt. Okay, let me take that onto the next page. Okay, so we've got the following. We've got the integral of x to the minus half dx is equal to minus k, the integral of dt. So integrating this, add 1 to the power and divide. If you add 1 to the power, you get a half, and you divide by half, you get 2. So you get 2x to the half is equal to the integral of 1 dt is just t, so you get minus kt. And you get a constant of integration, which we're going to call plus a constant c. Now it tells you, at this point, when t is 0, x is 2. So substitute in. 2 to the half is root 2, so 2 root 2 is equal to, well, um, when t is 0, this disappears and we get c. Okay, so using that boundary condition, we get that uh, the, inter the equation becomes 2 root x is equal to minus kt plus 2 root 2. And then let's use the other one. It says uh, when t is 5, when x is 1, so t is 5 x is 1, sub that in, 2 times the square root of 1 is 2, okay, we'll put in t is 5, you get minus uh, 5k plus 2 root 2. So rearranging for k, then, k would be 
uh, if we rearrange this, k would be equal um, to 2 root 2, subtract 2, uh, and a fifth of all that. Okay, so that would be equal to k. So therefore, our general solution to this is 2 square root x is equal to k, which is minus a fifth, 2 root 2 minus 2 times t plus 2 root 2. Okay, that is our particular solution. They want us to find t when x is a half, correct to one decimal place. So putting it in x is 0 0.5, we are getting 2, the square root of 0 0.5, is equal to uh, minus a fifth, 2 root 2 minus 2, t plus 2 root 2. Okay, work out this side, subtract 2 root 2, and then divide by minus a fifth, 2 root 2 minus 2, and you'll get your answer for t. So plug that all into your calculator. You would get t is equal to 8.5 um, minutes, and that is rounded to one decimal place. Okay, just to remind you how I got from here to here, um, what I did is I worked out this left-hand side 2 um, times the square root of a half. I subtracted 2 root 2 on my calculator, worked that out, and then I divided all of that by uh, m minus a half, 2 root 2 minus 2, and that gave me t is equal to 8.5 uh, minutes, correct, to one decimal place. Thank you for listening. I hope you found the following useful in your revision in Core 4.